The Guadalupe Valley, located in Baja California, Mexico, is a region with high real estate speculation and architecture, even though temporary, can consciously respond to and alleviate the veracity of the market. Elias House is a kind of anteroom for a future project. It is a temporary dwelling with a simple program to house the owners and developers of the future project who are not originally from the region. But its function goes beyond that, as if it were an unsolicited commission, to establish an intimate and inevitable relationship between the developers and the land and its context, being more than a house, a station for observation and research of the landscape. The house was built on the highest point of one of the three hills that make up the project area, on an elevated structure supported by piles, providing a panoramic view and leaving the land almost untouched for future construction. As it was a temporary house, it was necessary to think of a design that made sense in terms of functionality, but also in its symbolic context. The house was built with prefabricated and transportable structures of old classrooms. Each classroom is composed of two equivalent sections of a mobile home, which need to be separated into two parts to be transported and then reassembled on site. The sections were joined at a 90-degree angle, creating a contemplation terrace between the two bodies. One side of each section is open, without walls, designed to connect with the other section and create a free space without internal walls. These wall-less sides were covered with recycled secondhand doors and windows from the United States, arranged vertically and horizontally like a puzzle that fits perfectly, without cuts, even when they create protrusions at the level of the rooms. Windows and doors that rise above the roof level provide shade to the terrace, making it habitable, dynamic, and protecting it from the sun. There are projects that imitate the environment, studying its nature through forms, colors, and textures. Other projects hide, revealing sensitivity towards the land. Rising above the ground and touching only what is necessary is an act of respect for nature, but it can also be a subtle aggression to the landscape in the eyes of the beholder. There are also projects that sustain themselves through their meaning, through their close relationship with contextual phenomena, such as seasonal migration or the transient aesthetics of another country, which naturally dissolve into the everyday panorama.